Kathy. And I'm Missy. And we're Two Needles Pulling Thread. Happy Eclipse. Happy Eclipse. Day after. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. It is the day after the eclipse, and it is a gorgeous 60 degree day out. I have 68. You have 68? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I did. Um, I went out I on my shocked. lunch and did not want to come back. Yeah, we've lost, uh, since we came to you last, we've gotten, did, was it 14 inches? 18. We had another. Anyway, a lot of snow, what they call heart attack snow. Heavy, heavy wet. Very difficult to move. And um, it's almost all gone at my house. Yeah. I say that. Like, I've, I've snow banks and right, we piled pile up it areas, up. but it's it's almost gone. I, I I've have lost, some in the backyard, too. Yeah. But I've lost half again much. as much in my backyard <clears throat> from yesterday. So, I was supposed to have rain, so that'll take care of a good chunk of it. So, any of that you guys is. coming to Maine, you may or may not see snow. So, so yeah. Yeah. Um, We've had the whole gamut of weather. Everything. Winter Everything. coats. And I wonder why I can't talk. Yeah. Winter coats, sandals. My coworker came to work with sandals on I yesterday. I haven't done that yet. No, I have not either. I like a nice but I did 75 buy, degrees for that. I did buy a couple of nice spring outfits. So, so yeah, we've been busy. Just busy. busy. We had a library stitchers, our final meeting uh, last weekend. So. Yep. We are a week and a half out. Things are in place. If you watch Brandy and Emma, you yeah. heard them say that too. Um, we've got stuff ready. We are, I think we're ready. You know, there's yep. small things, little things. Um, I can't stress enough. If you are coming to the retreat and you have access to Facebook, there's information going up there um, regarding the retreat. Um, I wouldn't say daily, but there's a lot of new information since yep. Sunday on there. Yep. So I would encourage you to go look at that or... Um, There's a great Q&A thread. Yeah. If you're not part of that and you are coming and you do have Facebook, you do need to answer a few questions and we'll try to get you um, in uh, into that as soon as possible. Yep. Um, yeah. And we're hoping to do some videos and um, Kathy's pictures. Kathy's going to do videos. So just putting some stuff out there, but we're, we're excited and we'll talk a little bit more about that yeah, probably in the end. So... Good. It's Let's be fun. hop right in. Okay. Oh, see, Easter's over, but not on my back. So we're going to hop it, right in. It is. It's all right. We only, I only had it up a week. I so I needed a little bit more. Yeah. Previous. Barely spring for us. I know. Uh, Allison. <clears throat> Which Allison? Oh, uh, who is she? <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, okay. Alley Cat. Okay, I didn't know which um, Allison you were going for. Her Instagram for. has, uh, I don't know what kind of flowering tree, but that is not happening here yet. No. Although some people had daffodils and My daffodils paper are coming up. Yep. As long as they're up outside and not inside, I'm good. Yeah. Very allergic to uh, Chew. Anyway. Yeah. I'm noteless, but I, I think I'm all set. I don't yeah. think I have She sent me the anymore. email. I didn't get the email and we didn't realize it, so. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Hot mess. It's experience. okay. So I don't have much anyway. This is the least I've ever had. Yeah, she didn't bring her tote, so no. this is different. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Anything previous? I nope. Any FFOs? Nope. All right, I have a few FFOs. I um, don't have time for that right now. I just you did well. I just did these one day. I apologize. That's our fire radio, but this was the. Oh, jelly bean parade, Jubilee. I think. J yep. And um, I made it springy instead of Easter and just did some pretty yellow fabric on the back. This one I love. Quack, Very quack, cute. honk. Um, I finished quack, quack, honk. I put some lady dot trim and some orange on the back. It's very nice. It does have some uh, crushed walnuts in it. Um, but not a lot, mm -hmm. so. Nice. <clears throat> this one is a, this one call, falls under a whip, a boss me, a finish, an FFO. Um, this is Salty Seagulls by Helen D. I love it. And I didn't put the words and I didn't put the stars, but I had found this, let's go back, um, 
I guess you call it a ship's wheel at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I found a round that I had. This is actually mounted, remember the, the sticky board things that we talked about that you can find mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Home Depot? Furniture this one's movers. an actually, but this is an actual furniture mover. It's mm. got the rubber on the back, wow. but it was the right size. So I just glued it on. Oh. Um, put on some cording, which I also got at the Dollar Tree. Um, used a seashell to cover the two. Hot glued it to my table. Not my table, but my, my desk, because I forgot about the holes <laughs> and covered it in felt. So I was FaceTiming with Ashley, and I'm like, oh, no. I bet you said, oh, no. I, yeah. So um, this was great. I just used a quick <clears throat> coat of spray paint, gave it a quick nice. sand, and sealed it. So um, Dollar Tree, got to love it. There it is. And then my final I FFO, this. Um, this is Aaron Elizabeth's. Um, it's called Bloss Blossoms and Birds. I had showed you it um, finished. Um, Paisleys and polka dots. I put it all together. I spray painted it. It took longer to find a good day to spray paint it than it did yeah, anything else. Yeah, we haven't had good weather for that. Um, sealed it. This trim I got at a local store in here in Maine, in Belfast, and it was perfect. Um, and then. <clears throat> yep, and then there's a little bit of pink fabric that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm so glad. I, this is, I just, she knocked this one right out of the park, so. It's beautiful. And once I, like I saw her. white shows up, too. Oh, I wasn't sure. I was going to paint it black or maybe even a gray, and I'm so glad I went with white because it's just. Yeah, I think it pops. needs white. Um, and once I saw her video, how she finished on this. I also bought the bunny. I didn't download that though. Um, but yeah. So those are my FFOs. Do you have any finishes? I have finishes. Okay, go ahead. I just got to dig for them because they're everywhere. everywhere. I finished, I might not have all my details, but that's okay. I finished um, my gift to thee. And this is uh, Scar is this Scarlet House? Oh, I actually the have Scarlet it. House. That's the wrong one. Oh. I did floss conversions, but the Scarlet House. And I finished it. That's so country. cute. Vintage Country Mocha. I put in some Smyrna Crosses in the house to take up some space because I wanted it finished and I was getting antsy with fill-in. Your white just pops. I don't even know. Oh, it's right there. Um, Chalk by Gentle Arts. I like, I just pulled. Yep. From what I had. But compared to the picture, it just popped. The whole thing just pops. And it's, I don't know what fabric they used, but. This was brown, uh, Creek Bed Brown Linen from R&R. &R. Oh. But, yeah. So I have that for a finish. <clears throat> that was a start. And I have a couple of finishes here. I don't have a picture of this one. This was a freebie by Teresa Cogat that she, um, she Put did for Easter. Yep. Uh, oh, how he loves us. And it is titled, He Loves Us. It is gorgeous. You can go to her site to get the freebie and I think I did all called for DMC I think hers. that's what you said I think I did and then if you get the fanciful flamingo box the pink box uh, sweet wing studio was the last um, you know you can decline that yeah I know I'm just waiting for it to was the last um, designer and as he said and i think you saw both of us were working on this and this is how i finished mine i used the grace notes fabric that came in the box but yep. we don't know what color it was and this is how i did mine and for now i'm leaving it like this i think that i'm going to what i would like to do when i ffo it is to get into my wool stash and get some green to make kind of grassy hills and just sew oh, it on. Oh, nice. nice. Did you finish yours? I did. 
I did mine a little bit different. Um, you didn't put the bird on either, did you? No, I didn't no. do any animals. So I did the animals, and I changed my words to green, <clears throat> but no grass. I like it. Um, and I think I'm going to try to find an arch top white frame. Mm -hmm. um, and I also, you can't see it, but I did put beads on the cross. Pretty. And I missed six stitches. <laughs> I was stitching this. I forgot this to go back my and finish. Brain. I was stitching that piece as I was watching on HBO Max. Um, what was wrong with Aunt Diane? Okay. It wasn't a Holy Week show. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this was a fun stitch. Um, the cross was no joke. It was a lot I, of... I thought it went fine. It, went, it went quick. Good. Yep, yeah. It went quick. Once I wrapped my head around oh. the pat uh, a pattern of it. Yeah. Um, I didn't stitch the whole cross myself. I didn't. I'm missing so the bottom. I don't think you did either. No. Because, but it, I thought... Your it, animals do kind of look like they're floating, though. I thought it looked like they were standing in front of the cross. On nothing. Well, you know what? <laughs> They'll be on the bottom of a frame. Shh. Well, I, if you, if you abut it right at the bottom, that'll look good, too. Yeah. I'll either do the frame if I can find one, or I may put it on a foam block. Oh, there you go. So those are fun to do yeah. too. Um, so <clears> those <throat> are my starts. Okay. No, uh, those fin are your finishes. finishes. And I finished Hello. I, I think this. it's called Well. Hello Spring. It's. Is this Erin Elizabeth? This is Erin Elizabeth. This was in the Just Cross Stitch magazine. Um, and yes, I did not do the border. You even ironed. Well, I was ironing to do some. all this energy and time? Good for you. Well, when I FFO'd the other ones, I just ironed them. Um, this one, I also may f try to find an, an arched frame. Oh. Um, but we'll see. Nice. But I like it even without the border. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'll finish it. That would look good as a block, too. Mm-hmm. So. Very She's nice. She's good. She does good. So, yeah. Well, gee, we're at 12 minutes in. I know. It's going to be a quick it's, one. It is. This week. We said that last time, too. Well, it, I didn't bring anything extra. I got a couple, but what about starts? I have some starts. Okay. Um, so, in this one, you started this one also? I did. Uh, Annie Turner, the proper stitcher, strength and dignity. I don't believe there's a hashtag, but a bunch of us are stitching this. Um, along with Stephanie, the New England stitcher, for her birthday, which was April Fool's Day, April 1st. I have all the called for threads. I got the blue thinking I might switch out some colors to blue, but I decided not to. I also did that. And um, this is, I'm doing mine one over one on 25 count vintage uh, antique white Lugana. So I have that much done. And it's really pretty. Um, delicate, feminine. I really love it. Mm. Love it. So that's my... Well, since we're showing... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So that is what I have done. I can't wait to put a different color in besides brown and green. Oh, did you start um, at the middle? Like I the, did. Yeah. Uh, mine is on 18 count weathered stone by Atomic Ranch. It's pretty. Um, with all the called for. So, and I also had picked up blue, but I'm going to stay with the pink. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So, um, Emma showed hers, and I, I enjoy the blue. It's really pretty. Yeah, I haven't. And I'm them glad yet. I bought the floss. I'll use it in something. I actually ended up using the blue that I bought in um, Tis Spring, which. That's on a whip, but I didn't bring it because, you know, when you only put in, like, a row, it's almost not worth showing. So I started this. Oh, this yeah. was originally, this was, this whole kit was gifted to me, and the friend who gave it to me, she purchased a, what do they call it at Keepsakes when they create? A surprise a, box. A surprise, a surprise me box. Yeah, something like that. And the fabric was very different than what I would stitch on. And even some of the floss was not quite my conversion. I kept some of it, created some of my own. As you can see, I made all kinds of notes for this one. Did you make the spreadsheet too, called for and used? No, I didn't. Oh. Not this time. 
This is Love Abide by Lottie Da. That is so pretty. And I just love this. So I'm gonna stitch this twice, once as a gift, once for myself. Um, it says, in our home, let love abide and bless all those who step inside. I am not doing the birds, they're creepy for me. I'm contemplating, I am not doing the alphabet. I'm contemplating, because I'm not doing the birds, I might shorten this a little bit and kind of bring it down a little. Yep. One main reason is because I might be a little short on my fabric. Uh-oh. Yeah, I didn't know that till I got started. And I think I'm doing this on, um, oh shoot, I don't know where that color goes. Cute. I think this is on, oh no, I put my sticker on here. Oh, I was so wrong. This is 28 count picture this plus relic. Oh. I thought, I thought Relic was more gray. So I have done, um, no, I have done a lower left start because it's the easiest place that I could wrap my brain around starting. And I don't usually like to do a middle start. Right. Well, so, are you, I think if you had done a middle start, you may not be able to shorten that tree. Right. I mean, because you wouldn't realize. And don't those trees along those houses and flowers look really small? I haven't even gotten to the tip of the tree yet. Oh, of yeah. course, this is 28 count. Right, right. I mean, it's picture this plus, so it really is. So 28 count would be 14 count. But it truly is um, a little bit. Right. It's a, uh, It would be somewhere between 28 and 32 count. So I have no idea how long it'll take me to do that, but I got it started. And there I have, you go. Um, so I showed that start, that start. That's a whip that I'm gonna start. One more start. <laughs> I started this today because I got my boss me done, which I'll show and talk about. Uh, my husband bought me this book for Christmas with all the floss, call for floss for all the patterns in it. Oh, yeah. And my April scheduled start is uh, Love Your Family. We talked about how I was gonna start this in the last video. Someone else is starting. For our with... anniversary. Uh, yes, I can't remember who said that. I don't know. So I got it started. I'm using a Tiger Lily project card. So it's 28 count. Picture this plus, I'm gonna say it's legacy until I find out different, um, and it's a linen. It's stitching up really nice. I've only substituted one DMC. Wow. Why did I do that if I said that Mike? Maybe I didn't prefer the color. Well, it looks like it called for a DMC. Maybe it called for a 3771. Maybe you didn't have it. But I switched it. it out, but he bought them all for me. But maybe you used it. Mm. Who knows? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm so sorry for that noise. So I got, I started up here. And this is how much I've got done today. Oh, those colors are pretty. Did I start this last night? Or today? Maybe I got a little bit in last night. I don't know. I can't remember. Well, you had time while Lily was sucking on her toes. <clears throat> yes. And Sunday and yesterday, I wasn't feeling very well, so I can't really remember what I did. Oh, it says I started it on the 9th. That's today, right? That's today. Because your husband's birthday is not tomorrow. No. She has consistently, for 30-plus years, thought it was on the 10th. Hey, at least I'm early. You're consistent. So those are my starts. Awesome. Oh, and this bag, too. I don't know if I ever showed this bag. This is a fun bag. I got it as a gift at Stitch Away, and uh, Megan, Sassy Southern Stitcher, it's a friend of theirs, mysticmeadowscreations.com. Nice. And I like it, I like the size and how it zips on the top. That's cute. Mysticmeadowscreations.com. Nice. I'm almost done. All right. Um, I know, I wish we could show that, but. Yeah, so. And I wanna make those things. Which ones? Those. 
Are okay. those the no? Those are stuffed not mushrooms. Those, those. Okay. Bacon almond. Appetizer. It's got everything in it I like. So I am doing a pattern out of the Happiness is Homemade, the market cookbook. For Hashtag. The 2024. No. Market 24. Cook off sale. There you go. Um, if you know, you know. It's the big bird. It's the big bird. Just um, go get. It doesn't specifically say, but it's on her page. So I'm going to make an assumption that it is a Teresa Kogut. Okay. Um, I wish, I wish I knew, but hold on. I gotta, I gotta find the upright here. Okay. I have it all wrapped around my, my needle minder. So it's, he's got a top hat and like a, his, it's his, very dapper. Yeah. His wing looks like a suit coat. Um, but that's what I have done so Strawberry far. Strawberry in his mouth. The legs look a little funky right now because he's standing on a spool, but, um, so that's I got the top, nice. I got part of his head done. Yeah. And working on the wings. Um, Good luck zooming in on that. Yeah. Session. And it's on 28 count buckwheat. By Forbidden Fiber. That's really pretty. And I thought I'd struggle with 28 count, but in nice light, I was but actually... You it's it's 14 count. I know, but you know, when you... I'm moving up. I went from 25 yeah. to 28. That's um, good. And all the DMC but one, because I have to get that Thursday. Uh, I had started this when we lost the power. And I'm oh. like, oh, yeah, no, I'm not doing that with no light. Yeah, no, I wouldn't either. So, that's my starts, that and the strength and dignity. <clears throat> so. Excellent. I have one whip. I have I have three. So but... I'll talk about my boss me at the same time. Okay. Uh, for me, my April calls were the, well, everybody got the, we all got the same ones, the, the center. <laughs> and for me, that was a new start or anything I wanted to do or not do. And I clearly had plenty of starts. And then Patriotic and Christmas was called, and this is the perfect month to combine them both. Kill two birds with one stone, and I pulled out Patriotic Christmas Eve. Yep. And I called it good. Five days on it. Took care of both. Patriotic Christmas Eve by Twin Peaks Primitive. What I'm learning is that, so Chrissy, finally a farm girl, was the model stitcher for this. And she substituted out some colors and made it what? I guess what she liked. Right. Which is what I like. Did you read And not what's her? called for. No, but they make notes. There's notes in here. Oh. <clears throat> there's notes that says um, what was used. Like black for the fireplace is classic color works, black coffee. I just did all 310 because right. I didn't see that until after. But anyway, I got, um, I got a little more than five days on this. I'm using all the called for DNC. <clears throat> And this is a 28 count mushroom Lugana. So it's going to be a little bit bigger. I'm doing page finishes because it is all DMC. Oh, wow. So you'll see that Santa's, when the last time I left off Santa's jacket, I had um, the side over here. I had that to finish. So I finished that all up and I got all of this done. Did you I'm have the working. flags done last time? Yep, I did. Oh, wow. And it really is so much fun. I'd love to have this finished for Christmas. Oh, you will. That is just awesome. So I really enjoyed working on that for... Two strands? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. DMC, two strands. Wow. Two over two. How much longer? It well, obviously it can't be much longer. So the fireplace is pretty intricate. Yeah. And then Mrs. Claus. You and didn't the... have enough room? Oh, yep. yeah, this is the bottom of the fireplace. Yeah. And um, the clock with no mouse. And the border is easy. Yeah. That goes really quick. That's awesome. So we'll see. It's going away. <clears throat> it's going away for now. Because I'm, you know, moving on. Oops. Buying stuff at midnight. And wondering who the heck I am. <laughs> I love it. Not here though, I don't have any all. Blacker. <laughs> Do you have one more? Nope, this is okay. uh, something I'm gonna start. So I worked a little bit on um, 
Pinecone Gnome. And that is, I didn't get oop, a ton. Are you getting close to beading now? I am. Um, so I worked a little bit on the wreath and filled in some more of his face. I don't have a lot left. A few more colors here in the wreath. A couple colors I missed in his, like his nose area. Nope, chin area, and then beading. So um, there's that. And I can't wait to start another one. Those are so much fun. And then you all sitting down? So, speaking of boss me, I had bird and a whip. So, technically, mm -hmm. salty seagulls cut them both off, but they oh. were small. Oh. And she gave me crap. Because eh, they were eat crap. <laughs> so, but I did combine um, mine. <laughs> yeah. So, I did, and I pulled another whip, which I was going to anyways, <clears throat> and I started another bird. So, technically, I'm still done. But I started stitching on this and I couldn't put it down. So the last you saw this, I had one boot. Eee, no words. Say I don't any, I don't think I had any words. So not on the bottom. I didn't iron it, but I put in the words, the other boot, and are you doing a little All fun this. stuff and then yeah. a little bit in the dress? Yeah. And, and the yeah. same thing for this spool down here in this corner. Um, I'll fill that in. I think I'm going to take it to the retreat. Oh, I see. That's so nice. I got to fill this one in the same way. Um, oh, I just fell in love all over again. That's um, really nice. There is a, I don't know if I still have my picture in here. <laughs> There's a border at the bottom. We all know I'm not going to do it. I don't really like it. Um, I messed up the greens. Something big um, when I did it. So this green, I had to make a note. I had to actually lay out floss uh, to see so which green, green. on the bottom. Yeah. And yeah. then I thought I missed vines in in the side, but I didn't. But my green in the grass, the plants, and the top border are all wrong according to the pattern but I agree yep yeah. so I'm moving back up this side very nice yep this side um and then I'll sorry I thought that might be UPS are you expecting something never know oh okay um so yeah a little fill in a little stitching a little fill in a little stitching nice um falling in love with it all over again so that's awesome so I gotta reach out to Jenny and see how she is on hers. <laughs> so maybe she'll bring it. Oh, so. Maybe. If, if, if for nothing, they'll picture together. That's right. And I did work a little bit on Tis Spring, but I got I two, two rows of filling in the house and I was bored, so. That's it. So technically my boss That's all, done. folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <clears throat> Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, I put that back in there. I don't remember putting that back um, in there. So our friend Holly and uh, Hobbies of Holly Floss Tube also, she started a, or coordinated, or we're going to Planning to start She's a, planning to start. She's already started hers. I thought she was waiting and starting <clears throat> in May so people could get there. No, she started. I know. I thought she, oh. No, she's oh, already started. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I believe. So, um, but God, uh, by the Bay Needle Arts, uh, Donna, who is pretty, I mean, she's from Maine, so yep. we say she's local to us. So I am going to be starting this at some point this month, but right now I'm working on, I'm going to do five days on my yep. anniversary start. And you I, changed a color. I changed. Uh, yeah, I did. I am going to use 32 count water lily linen that's all i know i have not picked my colors yet it's not it's a green it's a, pre <laughs> it's a pretty company pretty it's probably zweiger or khaki color oh that's no, that's close it's green. yeah 
And I switched out some colors. I subbed some colors. I'm not sold on this yet. Look at that. There we go. I'm not That's sold got on nice it. Nice variegation. It though. does. So I'm wondering once I'm doing one, once I'm doing one thread, right? And I'm not seeing it like this. If I'm gonna like it, do some test stitches in the corner, maybe. I will because also, really, you know, the flower needs some. It needs a little brightness. Once again, I was watching someone, and they're going to start it as well. But they said they needed their sunflower to be yellow. Um, I haven't pulled my cup. Pu was that it? Jenny? I think or was it Jane? I haven't watched Jane yet, so it must have been Jenny. Well, if you have color and cotton sunflower, it's yellow. It's yellow. Um, I'm going to. I'm waiting on. I can tell you what I'm waiting on. When I ordered it oh. from her, from By the Bay, she sends a postcard with this little pattern on the back. And, um, oh, you can have one of these. Oh, thank you. And this is a bookmark. And then on the back is several um, verses. Scripture verses. Yeah, I'm waiting on mine, but I'm also waiting on threads that I ordered. Loden, molasses, oh, and um, I have Schneckley somewhere in a project bag. I thought I had it for you, but I don't. No, you had what? Scuppernog. Who names these flosses? Um, so I'm going to be pulling my stuff this week as well. Um, so I don't know when I'll get started. Maybe, maybe the end of the week or. Maybe the, by the weekend I'll get started on it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I have so much to do. And Does she have a hashtag for that yet? I think hashtag but, but God, God Sal. Okay. It's all lowercase. The G is uppercase. It's capitalized. As it should be. Yes. I agree. So who you, who you been watching? Oh my gosh. That was in my notes. Hold on. I'm going to look here. Well, I'll go. Yeah. Well, I can tell you that I started to watch Chris the Camping Stitcher. And I got basically her saying, hi, I'm Krista Camping Stitcher, and we lost the power. Oh, the power went out. Yeah, so it was, that was it. So I haven't gone back to Chris yet, but um, I watched, I, I'm behind, so. And I have it like on repeat at work right now, yeah. so. Um, Helen D, uh, Hoopy Hobby, got to hear about her. Texas, Texas trip. Texas trip sounded amazing. Um, Jenny and Nancy, the bougie stitchers. Alicia, the fanciful flamingo. She had a really quick six-minute video on her fabric stash on her desk. Oh. Um, I love how she did all the fat quarters. That was really great. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Um, then I just spoiled it for you. It's okay. Um, Teresa, the garden goose. Love her new setup. Yes, she has a... Uh... Did she do that in with her floss tube? Yes, yes, it her, was. So her, her video latest tour. floss tube is a video tour of her, her little sewing room. It's beautiful. That that locker cabinet is a game changer, and I'm thinking, thinking. Oh. Um, Kia B did her kitted projects. Yep. That was a great I video her today. Um, <clears throat> do tall stitchers. Yep. Carol and Jenny. Okay, I Jen was gonna. Lefer. I was gonna say Jen, and I was like, no, that's not right. Um, Watch them. Hollies of Hobby had another one. Hobbies of Holly. Yes. I know. I do the same thing. Holly. Our Holly. Our Holly. Um, and I watched, well, I didn't watch Chris. There was another one that I watched and I forgot, I couldn't figure out who, who it was. I am halfway through um, Sweetwater Stitcher, Jessica, her um, Channing Street. That's the title of it. So I'm halfway through that. You mentioned Kia, Vonna Pfeiffer, and she goes into great detail about um, a lap stand that oh, yeah. a friend's husband um, created, built, built specifically for her. So that's really very interesting too. Trying not to duplicate, mention b and &E Stitchery, Brandy and Emma. Brandy has some amazing fabric she got at her um, trip to Brick City. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, she's on my agenda for time. <clears throat> it was beautiful. I love the title, um, Stop Making Rules. Oh, yeah. boy. Um, Chantel, 141, her vlog. 
floss tube vlog and it was so neat. She's showing how she does the um, HOD uh, seasonal mad for, plaid. mad for plaids. We have the boxes. And I then forgot we got those. We do. And then, of course, I watched and then I ordered a I'm, lot yesterday. Uh-oh. She has a fantastic paint. I know. It just hit the market yesterday and I, I got some. What colors did you get? Uh, okay. I don't know the names of them, oh. but I got black, white, blue, red, a green. Wow. I know. <laughs> If you are someone who really enjoys Mirabilia, Glendon Place, anything that has, you know, that's um, ladies with the beading, you need to go watch Tara Sullivan's latest um, floss tube, floss tube number five, adding some sparkle to your stitching. And she has a framed finish parade of so many of them. Oh, wow. They are amazing. I actually have to go back and watch it a second time because Mike happened to be watching it with me. Oh, so he talked through the whole thing. He did. Now, is she... He asked a lot of questions, so I didn't like get to get wrapped up in the ambiance of the video because I had to answer his questions. Does she go by Tara Sullivan? Is that... <clears throat> I, she well, has... Sully Stitches. Okay, I that's, love her music, too. That's what I wondered. I wanted to make sure. YouTube, don't ding me on that. Loose threads, loose thread stitchers, Jeannie and Leanne. I always enjoy, yeah. always enjoy them. Um, the pink stitchers, and I'm convinced, Jamie, that I got this from you. <laughs> right Thanks through for sharing. Right through the TV. She feels <laughs> great. I do, I do feel good today. Uh, running with scissors, stitching with Jane and Julie. Um, that was time. amazing again. Oh, the Virginia Stitcher has a core. She's taken, she had taken a little break from filming floss tubes, but she did a quarterly one. It's over two hours. So pop some popcorn, get a drink or get a good stitch. Um, it's amazing. The stuff she's good. showing. It's just incredible. I'm incredible. Just, just so far behind. I like all the cute well, videos you know. you're coming up here. It's all the Bible songs because she gets to have breakfast at my house and then she sits and has coffee with Pops before he goes to work and I turn on Bible song videos for I her. I love it. For that. Um, Sable Stitchers. Garden Goose. Um, I also have a lot of growing home homesteading yeah. <laughs> videos. Oh, Stitching the Dream. Crystal and Lisa. Yep. They had a video out recently. I love to watch them too. And there's some new ones here that I haven't watched yet. And I want to try to focus on some that have been recommended. And, um, oh, and Linda finally, finally a farm girl, Chrissy and Linda. Linda did a solo one and she did a fantastic job. Don't think yeah. you didn't, Linda. It was fantastic. So Awesome. <clears throat> so that's that. Yeah. We're not going to make an hour. <laughs> That's going to be a miracle. So a we've miracle, already talked about Boss Me. We yeah. are, so it will be almost a week and a half before sure I draw, draw numbers again. We do have video questions. Yes. And I deleted them, so let me go to my, because I don't have my I know notes. what mine two are. There were more than that. Oh, I sent you a screenshot, didn't I? Yes. Oh, let's just go there, Kathy. Right up, oh, right there. Oh, work um, is calling me. Not calling me. Oh. I'm trying to. So someone asked what that pattern right there was. And that was a gift from Emma from B and E Stitchery. She was she had me in the Christmas. Um and it's Festive Cardinal by Pigeon Coop Designs. And she they mounted have some it on really neat patterns. Yeah, they do. I she, think he I think it's a, a male. He has an amazing chickadee one also. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I want to look a little bit more into th what they have and, um, counting puddles. Is yes. that the one we were, ex I say exposed to during yep. Yep. Stitch New England. Um, someone else asked about my magnetic frames and their sizes. And we are talking about. If you go on to Etsy and search though, yep. wood magnetic Mill Hill frames, frames yep. you'll get all sorts of options, but your size. Yes, so the big one, now these are in centimeters. 
and that's Which how they how come. Most of them are. Um, that big one is 21 by 21, and I ended up getting that from Embercraft, E M B R C R A F T. Um, these were all on Etsy. That one, they all essentially come from the Ukraine. That one was actually shipped from the Ukraine. Um, and then my other two, one is 6.5 by 9 centimeters, and the other is 6 by 6 centimeters. L.A. Crafts X-Stitch and Aura, Aura Bella, O-R-A-B-E-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. But they're all on Etsy. Um, and like Missy said, just type in frames, uh, magnetic Mill Hill frames. Um, There's several options. They they all come from the same place in the Ukraine. Just some people have them in stock here. Um, that actually shipped fairly quick. It just the tracking okay. didn't update. Yeah. It was a drag because it was already in the United States by the tra time the tracking updated. So. Uh, someone asked me... Um, the fabric that I'm stitching early Americans on. She actually called it Betsy Ross because that's the only block I have mm -hmm. done for it. I am stitching that on a 28 count Lugana Laurel Green. I don't know where I, I actually think it was a piece that was like a leftover piece when I visited Hobby House. Oh, so okay. there is a green haze to it. The border that um, I talked about mm -hmm. doing, that's a Vonna Pfeiffer um, curated border. And she does that for free. She's done a couple of them that I know of. If you Google Vonna Pfeiffer Twisted Stitcher blog, it'll come up. Yeah. And you will be able to find it on her blog. You probably could just Google Vonna. I'm sure you could. So. So, and she does an amazing job with that. And she's got that out there for everybody. You don't need to purchase it. Um, <clears throat> Boss me, I'm going to let you explain that. So Boss Me is a take, it's our take on Whipco. Spelled. B O. -S Some people think it's B-O-S-S-M-E. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so same as Bingo, same as Whipco, it's B-O-S-M-E. It originated with Missy and I and our friends uh, Chris and Jane, the Boss Stitchers. So B-O-S for Boston, M-E for Maine. Um, and... We, it's, it's a take on Whipco. We reached out to Jessie Marie of Jessie Marie Does Stuff, told her what we wanted to do. Since then, we've met her at StitchCon and she thought yeah. it was, we talked about how much fun yeah. it was. I got to watch Jessie Marie actually do stuff. Um, that was that, fun. <laughs> She's so sweet. How many people say that? And that. Um, it's the same thing. Yeah, our board is just, it could be a little bit different. You could have anything you want on but it. I think anybody who does Whipco, even if they're doing it, Right. With her, they can do anything they Absolutely. want to. Absolutely. Your board, your rules. I think there's a bird outside the window. <laughs> so we're just doing it with a group of friends. Yep. Basically. So, um, think of it as like um, Floss Boss and Cousins have a half a board. Yep. Same concept. Yeah. Um, so we just... It's and just now we Zoom friends. once a month. Did you Zoom last night? I don't remember. I didn't. I didn't. I, there was no way I could do it last night. So... Not um, last night. What Sunday is today? Night. Today's Sunday only, night. yeah, but today's oh. only Tuesday. It's been the longest week ever. Um, so, yeah, that's our boss me. Um, we just okay. have fun with it. It's your very first project that we stitched. Okay. I couldn't even tell you from way back. But since coming back to Cross Stitch in 2019, I b do believe, other than maybe something little just to get back in the swing of it, um, this was one of my first stitches. I hunted last night for the name of this. I can't find I, it. I um, can't remember it because you always called it something different. I know. And I can't remember that either. Mm -hmm. I, but it is a blackbird. It is. It is. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's a blackbird. It is. Um, and I... Right here? And the I can't w. believe your first one coming back was a blackbird. I know. Of but it's hot. Things. Look at it. I mean, I know, it's beautiful. And I know, and see, I mean, that's more... it's all ironed, and I know how I'm going to finish it. That's Good. how I knew right where it was. I can't come yeah. up with the name of it. Um, Someone will tell us. So put it oh, in yeah. the comments. Yeah, they're all yelling at me. I hunted and hunted. <clears throat> I couldn't find it last night. And this is on fabric that I dyed. So I must have watched somebody. Yeah. Right out of the get-go and dyed purple. Look, I just showed you the back. Which isn't horrible, considering. A few knots. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's um, all right. Um, I, I've been trying to think about that. 
because your mother taught me, but what she taught me first was cruel. Oh, see, I didn't learn the cruel. And I remember that project was um, like a floral bouquet. And then I did plastic canvas and I don't know. I don't really know. I think I probably just jumped right into. Well, we had the big, um, now that I'm thinking, um, Boyd's Bears. I think I jumped right into a Boyd's Bear because at the same time, they were big. your mother taught us needlework crafting. I also, at the same time, um, became really friendly with Karen in Alaska, oh, yeah. and she was a big cross stitcher. Uh, she doesn't, right. a friend of mine, she doesn't stitch anymore, but um, so we would stitch a lot of Boyd's and um, Patriotic and Paula Vaughn. We stitched a lot yep. of that. I don't remember stitching little things until I came back to it in oh, no, 2020. No. We're talking like Boyd's, yeah, you know. the, the big ones. Yeah. So that's what I think anyway. The first one that I stitched coming back in 2020 was a Sue Hillis. And it was an autumn one that has different little blocks, so like canning jars and a pumpkin. Anyway, it was quite intense DMC. Yeah. Um, I think we, one, two, three. Those are all the questions. Good. Keep asking questions. It's fun. <clears throat> yeah. Makes us think. We do have um, a little something we got in the mail. So this is a cute little card. Oh, isn't that adorable? And I'll let you read that. And um, Shelly, I didn't know your real name was Michelle. So um, we've, with a few other people, we've kind of gotten on the, um, we're, we're bringing baby back. <laughs> I didn't bring mine to show, so. Um, floss drops using baby pictures. And I oh. saw these of Shelly Nichols. And uh, friends of ours are friends who went to Beach Please, and they had them. And I was like, oh, those are adorable. So we, a bunch of us decided to yeah. do them. So she sent us each. Cute. A little floss drops. Isn't that cute? Just wait till. So there's that. Did you bring yours? I didn't bring mine. I didn't bring mine, yeah. I didn't bring mine. And she also sent us scissors. Oh, oh and scissors. wow. Thank you. And our favorite colors. Love so it. thank you very much, Shelly. I assume you want red. Oh, yeah. So thank you very much. The card was, um, it was just, it was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's cute. <clears throat> so we appreciate that. I have no haul. I have a little bit of haul. Um, I did purchase Erin Elizabeth's bunny that goes on the oval. I forgot all about printing that off. I struggle with that with PDFs because I forget to print them. Oh, and you take it right to uh, yeah. the notes? Yeah. So, oh, so cute. this was um, the Salty Seagull pattern from Helen D. Yep. That I did. I always think of... Uh, All Things Spring. Oh, that's what I was right. It email. was called... Oh, yeah. Mine, 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 mine. I don't have a lot. So, I was on a stash on load. I don't know why. I don't know how. You but always get caught, though. I Yes. Your but I found this, this pattern... I like that. This is called House of B Blues and Browns. This is with thy needle, Brenda Dravet. Um, I have Hildy's alphabet, and I did yep. the other Santa Help alphabet, so I wanted this one for the everyday. Um, and I'll do find the ticking to go with that. I may not put a pocket in this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mom may not put a pocket in this one. Yeah. And then oh, I, that's pretty. I don't know why, but... I had to have it. This is Lady Dot Creates uh, Velvet, Velveteen, and it's called Dahlia. And it is <clears throat> like watermelon color. Yep, it's pretty. Um, I just thought it was not springy. Not quite Barbie pink, but. No, not quite. So. It actually probably look pretty on the back of that. Oh, yeah. This is Chris the Camping Stitcher's brand new release. I think it came out two days ago. Called Spring Blooms. Um, yes, it's a sampler looking piece. Gosh. Um, not saying a word. And I just, I had to have it. I kept looking at it and looking at it. Um, bought it. Just, and you're right. I think that might look really good on it. Ooh. And the last thing I got was I got yesterday. This is my fabric of the quarter. 
um, from Barefoot Needle Arts. Um, and it's called Mojito. What are you getting that in? I upped it to 28 Count Lugana. Good for you. Um, so it's... That's really pretty. It's not neon greenish, but it's... Makes me want a mojito. And they gave me a recipe for mojito. I'll have to compare it to mine. Um, mint leaves, sugar, white rum, lime juice, soda water, soda, water, uh, fresh mint, and a lime to garnish. Oh, it's very different than mine. How do you make yours? Um, a can of frozen concentrate lime juice. Um, like the limeade. Yep, yep, a can and a half each of like a Sprite and a lime seltzer. Oh, or wow. if I'm doing raspberry, I will get raspberry seltzer. Okay. And I'm sure there's something else in there I can't remember. Right, because we don't Aside do the, from the we don't do the sugar. No. Which I well, think because no, because the juice and all that has its own sugar. Right, in and it. I think the sugar so that's what is... they're doing there. Oh, they're using the sugar um, to muddle the yeah. rum leaves. Um, rum leaves? <laughs> have you had a mojito? <laughs> I have. Already? Used... Yeah. <laughs> so I like that. And I, it was funny. I was thinking on the way home, there was something I could do on. Do you have your butt god? I wonder how that would look on green. I don't think this is the right green. Oh, you're doing it on green, but. Nope. Never mind. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo. and I bought a couple of t-shirts. Oh, that's well, it. yeah, I did that too, but. That's it? That's not. Um, so, are you doing something with that? Um, I just thought if just we talked plans. Oh, okay. What are your plans? So, <clears throat> all the starts, because that's all I want to do. Um, at, fun, at the retreat, um, Ashley and I are doing Threads of Time Sewing Bird by Stitches by Ethel. Um, so that is going to be a pattern that we're going to start. It's cute. And I think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to wait or if I'm just going to start it. This is a Teresa Kogut Needle Worker's Oath that I got at the Crafty Grimalkin. I showed it last time. Um, and I think I have all the colors. I just got to pull the rest of them. Um, and find some fabric. So I got a couple of starts that I want to do. Um, figure out what I'm taking. So just keep stitching. Keep stitching. Oh, I wanted to. Oh, shall. Yeah. <coughs> um, do you have anything before that? You want to? No, go ahead. Okay. Well, um, I can talk plans after. We want to wish Michelle, Maine Moose Mom, um, congrats on her 8,000 followers on Instagram. So. Very prolific in the stitching community and she manages um, our local Facebook page, Vacation Mason. Land Stitchers, yep. and um, she is a, a, she's wealth a of cheer, knowledge. cheerleader for the cross stitcher, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So, so congratulations on that. Yeah. Um, and that's on her Instagram, Maine Moose Mom. Yeah. She's, she's very good. Very, very good. Uh, plans. I, I took some time. I mean, it's still full on work, but I took time and I have my little retreat goodies. Oh, yep. Packaged and boxed and that's all done. I was also going to pack my retreat bag, um, but I... Haven't gotten there yet. No, I didn't. So that. maybe this weekend and just throw some stuff in. I, I don't really have any big plans. I am starting Channing Street yep. with a few yes. people. So I'm going to make sure that I get myself in good position for that. Um, and I may just grab, I may just take a portfolio and throw some projects in it and work on yep. when, when we have time to Yep, that's what I'm going to do, do is use my, my keepers. And I'm looking forward to um, the retreat and seeing everybody and catching up with old friends, meeting new friends. Um, yeah. Seeing, seeing old friends we've never met. I know. For the first time? Yeah. So. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I don't have a lot of, like, in our life, what's going on at work. It's like, everybody's yeah. just working. Ashley will be home next week? Yeah. So. She'll be home for the retreat. 
tomorrow Grace and I are going out for um, a very early dinner, finally for my birthday. So I'd say, or a late birthday, depending yeah, on how you want to yeah, look at it. We're going on our sushi date, and, um, you know, TJ Maxx, whatever. Yeah. Whatever we decide to do. Okay. And, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I don't have tons of plans. I actually don't have anything going on this weekend. No, you don't. It. Unless it's really busy and I have to work Saturday. Yeah. Which I, is always... I have to work Saturday. A possibility. So I have half a day off on Thursday. So I'm going to run down to Auburn and uh, hit some places. Yeah. It's Rob's birthday, but he has a meeting, so... <laughs> Oops. Um... Stitch like I normally do. Yeah. I'm hoping Sunday to do nothing because we've been running the last three weekends. Yeah, so. it's it's been a little busy. It's been a little crazy. I've been trying to be very um, purposeful with uh, having Sunday to just be at my house and get some things done and caught up on. Um, for the most part, I've been able to do that, but you know. we're running from morning till yeah. <clears throat> late on Saturdays in order to get that accomplished. So it almost, yeah, it's not a great balance. No, <laughs> it will, it will come. It's no wonder something caught up with me, but yeah, it'll slow down. But, I um, probably, this probably came from baby. I haven't been sick, sick though. Like I didn't. No, you just, you, you said get, Saturday, your throat was very dry. Yeah. And then it just settled right. Yeah. It's like I have a marble in my throat. Yeah. that's just not um, moving. Yeah. So we had our meeting. Um, and then we went out to lunch to celebrate yeah. nine months of really working. Has it really only been nine months of doing it? Well, we first, no, it's been almost a year. We started. Almost, yeah. yeah. We started just, just about this time yeah, last year. talking about it. And um, everyone's done. Oh, it's just we, We've said from the get-go that fantastic. everybody has their, their little niche <clears throat> and everyone's done. Yeah, it's been great. And so Saturday we got put the finishing touches. We got the swag bags all done, the figured out some all the stuff, yeah. all the fun things that yeah. we have planned. So, uh, yeah. so we're really looking forward to it. If you are coming, please do um, you know, make yourself comfortable and uh make know that um we hope that this is um a fun relaxed type of retreat and um you know say hello don't be shy to absolutely to walk the room and talk to people and there will likely be people there that you know who they are and uh just know that everybody is yeah. approachable so um just in case there there are raffles we had talked about that um so it's cash but there is yeah, an ATM you're coming yeah, yeah there's an ATM on site but um Anyway, when you get there, the next the time we come to you, it will be over. It will be over. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Because next week, it's next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, at least you put your, your table stuff together. I haven't done that yet. Um, yeah, it'll be the Tuesday or Wednesday after the retreat. So we'll have all the... It'll be fun. Yeah. So that likely will be a retreat recap and among other things. So Hall. anyway, we're, we're stretching to... this to make it to an hour. It's 58 well, we... minutes and, and 53 50... seconds. So if we add the intro, we add the outro, <laughs> we're, we're good. We're there. We're so, there. But anyway, we do... thank you. Oh, no. We oh. have something to celebrate. Yes. We recently reached 8,000 oh. subscribers. Woohoo! which is just amazing blowing and um we just want to say thank you Absolutely. thank you for investing in us and in each other and in this community for your comments yeah. for your support for always keeping things um on the bright side of life and we were approached um by tina of team egner with the opportunity she has um, given, she has gifted eight of, I meant to bring one of those to show too, yes, but eight, she, if you check out Team Egner, E-G-N-E-R on Etsy, 
she has a floss drop business. She creates their beautiful They're gorgeous. floss drops Absolutely on rings gorgeous. with charms. <clears throat> anyway, she is going to give eight of those to eight of our subscribers as a thank you for being with us um, the whole time, subscribing, doing all the things yep. you... Um, we randomly drew eight people already. Yep. There's nothing you have to do. You didn't know it was coming. Um, if you hear your name, all you need to do is email us at two needles pulling thread at gmail.com with your email address. No. Email? Because we need a mailing address. No, we're not sending them. Okay, we're going to put Tina in touch with you. We're going to get Tina in touch with you. So once we have all the <clears throat> email addresses, so if you hear your name, respond quickly. We're going to send those all off to Tina, and it's our understanding that she'll be in touch with you, and you'll be able to choose what you want, and she will ship them directly to you. We can't thank you enough, and Tina. And Tina, you're just amazing for yeah. what you do, and again, what you bring to this cross-stitch community. I'm seeing your work everywhere. Yep. Um, so thank you very much. We really appreciate that. All right, you ready? All right. Some of these. We were so Rob drew these. Right, my husband's a random <laughs> picker, and Missy and I were like, really? <clears throat> no way. Some of you guys have been with us since day one. Mm. Um, so the first one's Mary Lou Benoit. You know who you are. Amy Zeller, 814. Ironically, they're partners with their floss, too. I know. Lynn LaForce, mm -hmm. we know Lynn. Maniac Stitcher, 2207. A, a new friend to us. Yep. Robin Selby. Selby. Robin Sel Selby, one. R-O-B-I-N-S-E-L-B-Y, one. Congratulations, Robin. She's from Kentucky. Rhonda LaFleur, 6357. Nope. Lori Smith, 8309. And Maureen Lopez, 9266. Hey, so, so congratulations. Yep. You I'll didn't put even those. Know. You didn't have yeah. to do anything. Um, so email two needles pulling thread. We will with your email address and we will get you connected to Tina with yep. Team Egner. So so that's Way exciting. to go. That's exciting. Um, and thank you so much, Tina. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. Um, I'm all set. I think I am too. I'm going to go home and cook some dinner. And oh, what are you having? Garble my throat. Um, chicken thighs, vegetables, rice. I think we're having cheeseburgers. Husband mm -hmm. hasn't been told yet. So, But it's a <laughs> nice day. You would eat cheeseburgers three meals a day, though. Mm, no, that would be pizza. Ugh. So, so. I like pizza, but not... So. That's like my meal for, what are we going to have? Well, yeah. Grace would, Grace would do like pizza, pizza right out of the gate, too. So, But it's a nice day. It's a grilling day. Oh, we don't have our grill out yet. We have but. snow on our deck. Yeah, that's true. So, All right. Well, we thank you so much for joining us. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you. Yes, and, thank you uh, so much. We will see you. We'll be tired, but we will see you after yes. the retreat. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.